It's the State of the Week Address with the President of these United States of America, Donald J. Trump. Hotline, good morning. Hey, Pedro, didn't anyone ever teach you any manners? Not saying hello is rude. Try it again. <laughs> All right. Hello? Hey, f*** nut. How's it hang? Oh, yeah, thanks a lot, Mr. President. Yeah, I appreciate that. Great to be on with me again, Pedro. Your ratings are already thanking me, but let's make it quick. I've got to get back to ending this government shutdown. And by the way, ending this government shutdown is code for eating my third Egg McMuffin. Yeah, well, we've got to ask you about this report that the FBI was investigating you about possibly being like an agent of Russia. Are you working with the Russians or not? Let's end this. Look, this is all just a gigantic hoax put on by the fake news media. They want you to believe that I'm working for some powerful oligarch, huh? Oligarch. It's crazy. I would never take orders from any of those monsters from Lord of the Rings. Yeah, right. Never. Frankly, I love the people of Middle Earth. I really do. Look, for the last time, I have no ties in Russia. No ties. Everyone knows that my ties are made in China. Yeah, we knew that. <laughs> right. Now there's also the report that you took the interpreter's notes after one of your private one-on-one -on -one meetings with Putin. Uh, what do you say to that? Did I take the interpreter's notes from that meeting? Yes, I did. And you know why? Well, first, I didn't trust anyone with the information because, frankly, there were so many leakers early on in my presidency, if you'll remember. I mean, it was leaking faster than Bernie Sanders depends undergarment with extra padding. <laughs> yeah, that, well, that's no good, right? Yeah, and the other reason I took the notes was that I needed to make sure that every one of the eyes was adorably dotted with a heart sign. And there were plenty of XOXOs all over the place, which is code for kisses and hugs, by the way. I don't want my Vladdy Poo misinterpreting anything. We're so close. Yeah, anyway, okay, all right. Well, look, <laughs> right. we're on day 26 of the shutdown. Is this ever going to end or what? You know, I will tell you, this shutdown has lasted longer than some of my marriages. Not only is it the longest we've ever had, but it's the thickest anyone's ever seen as well. Believe me. <laughs> and every day that the Democrats, led by Deputy Doll Hair Chuck Schumer and Nancy Chemical Facial Peel Pelosi, continue to not support the humanitarian crisis of our border. Thousands and thousands of elementary school kids are getting hooked on Peruvian flake during show and tell. <laughs> Such a tragedy. But on the bright side, though, after walking out of several meetings with Chuck and Nancy, I finally reached my Fitbit goals for weekly steps. Pats on the back for Donald. New Year's resolutions coming along nicely. Oh, well, right, nice. Yeah, it'll, it'll be great when we get people back to work, sir. You got to agree on that. Come on. Totally agree. And if you think the federal employees are suffering, you should see the White House toilets after the fast food bonanza we had with Clemson the other night. <laughs> oh, God. I might need to open the government back up just to get the furloughed plumbers back in here. Not a pretty sight. Yeah, well, you know, the, the national champion Clemson Tigers visit the White House for dinner Monday night, and you paid for it yourself. Is that right? Yep. We had McDonald's, Wendy's, Burger King, and Domino's, or as I like to call it, the four food groups. Sure. Matter of fact, the fast food spread was so successful, I've decided to roll it out nationally as our new school lunch program. <laughs> Take that, Michelle Obama. Oh, my God. In all fairness, the Clemson party was fun. Very fun time. Mike Pence was working the milkshake concession the whole night, right, Mike? It was a wonderful evening, sir. My milkshake brought all the boys to the yard. Oh. Pence hasn't stopped smiling for the past 48 hours. Yeah, sounds like you it. You know, I'm going to step this whole party thing up for when the Red Sox come visit the White House. I'm going to get Applebee's, Chipotle, and Red Robin delivered from takeout taxis. Oh, well, yeah. Red Robin. Oh, yeah, well, That's right, Mike. God, well, I'm sure you heard the news about Amazon CEO Jeff Bezos' divorce. Any comment? You know, frankly, I feel so bad for Jeff Bozo. The first his hair left him, now his wife. <laughs> and this guy can't get anything to stick around. I heard his dog ran away and is living with the CEO of Walmart. You know, maybe he should look into getting a mail-order bride from Eastern Europe. I'm sure he can get free overnight delivery through Amazon Prime. He's a bigly Prime member. Yeah, all right. Well, finally, there have been reports that you want to pull out of NATO. Is that true? Not true. But if I did pull out of NATO, my first instinct would probably be to give it 130 grand of hush money. Oh, my God. Look, here's my problem with NATO, okay? Half of them don't even speak English. It's like being stuck in a New York City cab with 27 drivers. Okay. Hey, Mike Pence, have I ever talked to you about pulling out? Not without mother in the room. I'm talking about NATO. Oh, my mistake, sir. Well, thanks for calling this morning, sir. Stay huge, Pedro.